Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where we are going to be playing another random game where we have loaded up Civ 6 with our normal game modes which is vampire or secret societies and monopolies, barbarian clans and what is it? Heroes and legends. We're going to go vampires hopefully this game if we play it right. And we've loaded up Chandragupta, a uh, leader personally I love Gonna be much better than my Christina playthrough, who's a leader that I don't really like at all. I love Chandi. I think the general community severely underrates him uh, because India in this game, Dharma, is so bad. But uh, Arthra Shastra, the War of Territory expansion, plus two movement and five combat strength, plus the 40 strength Varu, uh, which gives a negative five combat strength, which makes you actually like 45 strength, plus five gives you 50 strength on your Varu, essentially. Uh, yeah, he rolls over neighbors. Looking at our start, no production. I mean, it's a, a little production, but not a lot of production. But hopefully there's going to be horses here to... Well, we don't even need horses, but we're going to be going for horseback riding, obviously, to unlock our Varu. A lot of flat desert down here. That sucks. Going to go straight into a scout, and then let's check out what tile we're working. I don't want to work this tile. I actually want to work the growth tile. So 8, 8, and that becomes 15, 6. So I would rather cut the scout two turns to gain, like, uh, seven turns on my growth. That's just a no-brainer, I think. Animal husbandry. We're going to sort of beeline a couple of checks. First, we need bronze working. We also need horseback riding, which requires archery. Because down here on the civic tree, we need to get uh, we need to get to military training. Which means we need to improve three tiles, clear a barb post, build a specialty district, probably an encampment, research the construction technology, and build an encampment. So all of those things take a little bit of time, which means we need to get that churned through, get it done before we get our Varus, or slightly after we get our Varus built up, because that's when we want to go. We want, to, oh, there's Tundra up here. I'm exploring in the wrong direction. Darn, darn, darn. I took a choice. I made a choice and it didn't pay off. After this scout, most likely, we're going to be working on a builder. Because we need to get craftsmanship boosted up. And that takes three builder charges to do. I would love to find horses to use those three builder charges on. And we definitely want to get a slinger as well to try to boost archery a bit. I think we're, we've got a lot of flat desert here to put our... Uh, I don't really want to mess with you right now, Spearman. Do I deviate from my builder plan? Ugh. Don't don't see my don't see my borders. Well, I think we can go for a slinger comfortably before we need to get a builder out. So let's 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 move into that direction. And in two turns, we'll see if we have any of the good horses. Ah, flat, weird desert right here. Definitely don't want to fight this until we get if there are no dogs our heaven, first uh, policy cards put in. Horses. I've been spotted, so I have to cross. Ugh, horses are down here, and my city is not likely to grow down here anytime soon. 75 to get this. So we're gonna need to do that eventually. Mining next. We're gonna need to kill three barbs as well, so... I'm kind of okay with my scouts hunting down... Or my scout Hunting down these barb scouts. Because I want the kills... I'm going to keep tagging them until I can promote or kill them. Can't promote, huh? Oh, no. He's dead. I lost him, and I'm going to have bar problems from the south. That's cool. Get up here. We'll scare this away, then. How are you already spawning 
troops up here in the north. That should not be possible. Because the scout didn't make it over here. But this guy's going to start bugging me. Okay, combat strength versus you. I don't really care about God King too much, but we'll we'll put it in. I'm not looking to go for a religion here. Uh, it's it's much stronger for me to just focus on military. Where did that slinger go? He's over there. Well, we might as well come down here and purchase this so that we can get that pasture rolling. I think we're going to go pasture and then food. Let's tap you. And then we'll hit, we'll promote with him. When you find yourself in a uh, go back, smack. Move down, tap. That gives me the promotion. We got archery boosted. That's cool. We've killed one barbarian currently. We're going to be getting a couple more here. Most likely. That's the second one. Let's promote into this. Move up to clear out the camp so that we can boost military training. So that's, that should be my third. Yeah, there we go. Bronze working boosted. Uh, this is, this is problems. This is big problems. Not because they can do anything to my city, but because they delay my builder. Which I really don't want to have happen. Ah, oh, this is gross. Let's get that. Military tradition. Let's get in here. Now my my builder is going to be super slow. They can't actually take my capital, so them attacking my capital is actually, just generally speaking, much better for me. And we'll work on, like, another slinger probably here. And you, you're just going to go to sleep kind of forever now, unfortunately. Yeah, I like the horseman hitting the capital. No complaints there. I will lose this warrior next turn. Into this barb. No, the barb horseman just attacks the city. Smooth move, Barbs. Smooth move. Do it again, I dare you. Is, are, is there camp gone? No, it's right there. Their camp is still alive. It's perfectly okay. Uh, I'll die if I attack in, so I gotta just hang out. I'll kill you now. Move forward, shoot, wake you up, finally start working on my craftsmanship boost. The third boost will be, the third the use will be down there. Get you healed. This is going to give my city lots of growth, which is really cool. Bronze working comes next. Let us promote you. Oh, I, I just realized that I didn't actually get uh, the vampires. I will move you down, move you across, move you down, start healing. Three turns on that growth. Let's promote. Go down and just heal. I want to deal with this camp. And then I need to find where my neighbors are because I can't use uh, War of Territorial Expansion without knowing where all my neighbors are. I don't have my Pantheon yet, so I can't move out of that. So I think after this, we just go for another scout and to a settler. Uh, a 
That's not a heal. That's a heal, though. Oh, you're dead. Get out of my face, idiot. Uh, come down here. Let's go for a scout. And then we're gonna go straight into a settler. And I don't know where we're gonna settle. Probably where this barb camp is, or close to it. Thanks, barbs. I will happily... I'll settle right here. I'll, I'm happy to settle there. I need someone with two cities next to me. Where, where are you running to, stupid? There's the vampires. That's great. I'll go ahead and grab you. I can use them for an extra scout. And have them come and scout over this way. Just like this archer. And then he'll want to kill himself on me. Uh down settler and I'll grow before I lose a pop please find me some people don't tell me I've got oh whoop that's the settle location because great generals are going to be great for me so let's explore up here I hear I hear damage being done Cool. Uh, I got more more recon units than I know what to do with now. Do I have a city that can take advantage of that? I would love to find a city location before going to to becoming too committed with my 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 warrior or my settler here. You're going to die. Hey, more goody huts. My god, am I isolated? Is this actually a thing that's going to happen to me? We found another continent. I'm not super interested in sending both scouts down this way, so I'll send one scout over to the side there. And I guess we settle here, and then we're going to come settle up here somewhere. Uh, tag this. Arja. Very easy early target. If I knew where she was. Okay. She's over here. Uh, that changes my settle priorities. Because I need her to have cities next to me. In order to get my... my cast his belly off I need her to have two cities next to me I'll move you back a bit come look around thank you Himiko uh, there's there's a city settle down here as well but I don't have time to build that many settlers I need to build my encampment. I definitely need to get that encampment out. Uh, horseback riding. And what do we got? City patron goddess, probably, to speed up my district. Uh, I guess here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I got a city up here. But I'm gonna need way more cities in her direction. I know I just moved him back. I know. I'm just gonna have him set on that iron. For a little bit. There goes Edamananki. I guess I could just raw killer with Varu instead of the War of Territorial Expansion, I guess. Uh, but that's less fun. I want to use the War of Territorial Expansion, Cassis Belly. And another good thing is she's probably going to have created a religion. She gets so much faith. 
she'll she her her AI is keyed in that direction. I don't see a lot of competition for this city spot down here. So, like honestly speaking, why don't I just come settle up here? Start working on those great general points right away. And if there is competition for the city location down here, well, by God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She's not got a city that close. Well, then, by God, we'll just have to take it from somebody else. Uh, we'll move you back up to protect my settler. Well, the settler's going up here, so that doesn't really make very much sense. I definitely need to not spend my gold because I want to use my gold up there. So I'll kill the cows. Take seven turns. That'll boost this. It's a double boost too, so it's very much worth it. There's somebody, some city-state. And then we'll get another settler out, and we'll go settle, like, on this river, maybe. It depends on if she's in a golden age. I will pre-produce a settler, and then work on, like, Varu and stuff, and then come down here. So let's send you down, and you up. I'm fairly certain that if I get a city here on this truffle, uh, she'll have two cities within ten tiles of me. 17 turns have not met a blue city-state. We go into the classical. She's probably up in a golden age. Yep. AI does really well. She does especially uh, early in the game. Because she gets her pantheon so fast. So five turns here, ten turns on you. Is there anything I can work on that is not state workforce? We'll get military tradition. I also would like to research construction. Keep coming down, bud. But yeah, we got... If we weren't playing an aggressive game, look at all the space we have to expand into. It would probably, honestly, instead of planning for war, it would most likely be most correct to just fill in all that space. 90. I'll get it next turn. Or, honestly, I could sell her one horse and get it this turn and start producing uh, great general points. Isn't that what you do? Provides two general points and two merchant points if you own at least one of these tiles. It probably won't show until next turn then. But a great general will be a big boost for us. We're okay with a great general. Oh, there's a blue city. Say we did meet one. Do we have the first meet on you? No, somebody met you. Somebody's already suzerained you as well. Ah, oh, she's spreading. Yes, spread your cities so that I may quench my thirst upon them. Uh, two or three Varu should be enough to take out her first couple of cities and cripple her. And then really power up my my vampire to be something crazy. Badung. Uh, I would like, honestly, to have another builder to go for this to sell. Yep, 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 yep. Keep talking to me. Uh, having another builder to sell off my luxuries and then declare war on her to get those luxuries right back would be good. Uh, it would make sense. Another settler is also 
going to be very important because I need it to get my, my Cass's belly off to go here. I can't go there until I get the Cass's belly though, so we need to be careful. I'm just dancing these units back and forth. I am not paying attention to what I'm doing at all, which is probably not an optimal way to play. I just, oh, there's so much to spread into. I feel, it feels wrong not spreading into it. It just feels incorrect. I want to hold this tile because I don't want her sneaking over here with, with a city. Who did I just meet? Valletta. Down here. Cross? Yeah, if I could take her empire out. Mega boost. Let's see what tiles I'm working. Lock this. Lock this. I mean, yes, I guess. It is production. Am I making my points? Yep. I'm going to get both of these. This is a good wonder. I mean, it's not like the best. It's not like Yosemite or anything, but it helps guarantee early merchants. And merchants are great people that I have strongly of like underrated in the past. State workforce. Do this. And we're just chilling. Awe. Imperator. Uh, I don't need any of my horses. So, sir. Will you, you, you will not buy horses. Well, that's a little sad. Is there nobody down here? Are you serious, game? A strong economy. <clears throat> Games and wreck. After horseback riding, we want to consider construction, but it's a little far away, and I don't think we're gonna get it. So we're gonna go there into irrigation. I think Pingala in the capital is gonna be okay for us. Because that'll help us get a little more science going. We are way behind. And uh, I want you to go there. So you can't do anything for a turn or two. Bro. Stop going where you're going, game. Stop going where you're going. Well, there are Varus. We've got them unlocked. After this builder, we need to get a settler. Will you give me open borders? 14 gold. Blech. Yeah, many thanks, many thanks. What did I just... Oh, I found another continent. Wow, you're on a continent split. Cool. I think I am too. Yes. Wow, there's a little tiny continent right here. That might be the only source of truffles in the game. There's Tamiris. A very aggressive sieve over here. Don't know how she met me. Probably through a city-state. Look at my vampire. He's at 20 strength. Wait until I complete a Varu. And then he's going to boost up considerably. You don't like my Pantheon. That's okay. Not Pantheon, my society. That's okay. I kind of only chose it because I could. I think we'll go for a Varu first. 
And then a settler after that. I only really need the settler for the Cassus Belly. I boosted the wheel. Oh, that must be from that goodie hut. Right? Yes. Are there more goodie huts for me to take advantage of? So far, I haven't seen any reason to believe that anybody down to the south is doing anything. So, maybe. Maybe I can get another boost. I thought Clay must feel happy. I am kind of happily willing to sell away this to, to get uh, some purchases of like elephants and stuff. They're 480, I believe. So we'll wait for that. There's Eleanor. I'm feeling a little late on this rush. It's making me a little nervous. Irrigation's in three turns. That'll give me enough time to chop this and move. I'll be okay. We can chop. That saved me three turns. I mean, three turns and three turns. We can't scoff at it. What I really need, though, is the, the Cassis Belly. And I would love a great general as well. Sun Tzu. You just sleep for a turn. I kind of want to auto-explore through here. Kume is down there. He's he's a little big. Trajan claims Himiko. That's going to give him a pretty sizable army that he can just sort of recruit from city-states. So we got to be aware of that. A step well or a holy site with some step wells would be a decent thing to have. Like here, we can go step well, step well, step well. Give us a little bit of housing without having to build very many things. One turn on this monument. And then Mumbai is just going to be building Varu. But Mumbai is never going to be able to finish their Varu because they're so expensive. They're like Mariano Chariot Archers, and I want to denounce you early. Ugh. Construction is the thing that's taken me the, the longest to get through. Let's go ahead and denounce. Uh, I don't think military tradition is going to take me too... Or military training is going to take me too long to get through. I can slurp some of this up with a Nancy right so that's okay I'll slurp this up as well if I get a Nancy I can that'll boost me pretty quickly Varu in two turns a physician without a knowledge one turn let's go into masonry so we can deal with walls and then the capital will build a settler next to come settle the truffles. Can I squeeze through here, see what's to the south of Rome? Scythia takes down Anshan. Get you moving. A uh, settler in 11 turns. Uh, it's a little painful. Who will buy my horses? You will buy my horses for a lot. So I'll take that and I will purchase myself yet another Varu. Construction is going to take way too long. It won't be done by the time this is done. So there's no point. Whoops. But masonry is going to be important. So we'll just finish masonry up.
What is gone? Machu Picchu is gone. Eleanor builds Stonehenge. An unmet city-state has been slurped up and defeated. Ten turns. How many horses am I getting per turn? Feels like a lot. It's the settler I'm kind of delayed by right now. All right, Anansi, come take one of these tea. You would also build your Varu. We're just going to go on a Varu train until we take out uh, all of Guitarja. Look now, 40, 40, 40. We've got so much combined combat strength in this area. That city's at 22 strength. <clears throat> My Varu doubles it. It it It's gonna do some damage. Once I'm able to get there, it's gonna do some damage. Your imp My empire poses no threat to yours, have you seen? Are we looking at the same empire? And now we have this. Which makes these boys even better. Uh, combat strength plus five to classical and medieval era units. Uh, you are a classical era unit, so you get the boost. I hope settling here will give me two cities within ten tiles. I'm pretty sure it has to be... Uh, Cassus Belly, is it... I can't see until I have the thing. So never mind. We'll check. We'll check then. There's this... Come on, I just want you to complete. Come now, Settler, finish. Be over with. I'm almost able to buy yet another Varu. Construct, I, you know what? Construction might get finished off of the next slurp I use Ananti for. Military training is in one turn, so it's definitely this that I'm waiting on now. Ugh, seven, and it's going to take it one, two, three, four, five, six turns, I think, until I'm actually able to use it. That's very slow. But when we get there, when in fact we do get there, oh yeah, I'm going to be like mega hated by everybody here. Okay, we should have changed these cards so long ago. I am such a dunce for not changing those cards. That was kind of, oh, this has got to go. That was kind of super bad. Super bad on my part. I'm out. My horses are now dead. Sucks. Valletta is where I'm going to put my point because it actually sped up my settler by one turn. And that one turn matters. If she goes north, then I'll definitely have uh, the of enough of her cities in place. There's Halong Bay. I don't want her actually settling right there. Because that screws my settle really badly. I'm going to come in here and purchase this. Because I could get Hippolyta. And Hippolyta is going to be nuts. I don't want her doing what she's about to do. I'm going to be really mad about it. I'm going to be really mad. Go up one tile. Settle here. Settle up here. Ugh. Now I have to settle... Now I have to settle just so suboptimally. 
I can't even be in position. Oh, I have enough. Ooh hoo hoo. Well, guess what? We're gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, you, my fine lady, are done for because I've got this. I've got you. I've got you. We can move you in range. I'm willing to swing you around. And this vampire is going to decimate this seven pop city. Oh, yeah, she's done. She's done. And I'm going to raise this city and actually build my city down here. Uh... Once I have the settler, you know what? Screw the settler. Ah, uh, Hippolyta is gonna take way too long. Blech. Yeah, Hippolyta is gonna take way too long. Let's actually just switch it over to a Varu. Elephants go marching. That's where we're going now, baby. Sun Tzu, just hang out. And hopefully. Actually, you know what? No, actually, finish the settler, and we'll come down south and settle that that other city that I saw earlier. Then we'll get Varu. I think this group of three will be able to survive a little while here, especially with farms and stuff. We might be okay. Majapahit's it's very weak. Who who am I waiting on? Slurp. Uh. No, we'll keep we'll keep what we have in for now. Writing and then political philosophy, please, because I want my government. It's been a while. We'll go here. And we'll next turn it and see what her response is to my war declaration. <clears throat> Honestly, not a very strong response. Pretty weak overall. Not something that I am concerned about in the least. We are going to smack. And then I want you to watch this. Uh, blam. We'll take that city. And yes, this city will fall in four turns. But honestly, so will either Badung or Majapahit fall in four turns. Uh, she really doesn't stand too great of a chance let's wake you up I can't actually hit you huh we'll move Ingela to Benjamin that should slow me down to just enough turns to be able to take her capital we'll go for the wheel uh, if I had some gold I would like a Varu. If I had the gold, I would like a Varu. And uh, all of this combat strength right now comes from levied city-state units. Who's scared of those? Not I. Not I. Yeah, take that back. Nobody, Nobody's impressed. We'll put in 20% uh, unit experience, oligarchy. And then we'll put in a garrison to loyalty and for garrison units. And then we're going to put in raid for pillage yields. Because we should be able to start pillaging a decent amount here. I want to... I want to move here with my vampire. Move forward here. Then I want to come here. And hit this. Kill you. This is four turns, but my archer should get in there or Majapahit should fall. One of those things will happen within four turns. Once my Varu get anywhere close to her capital city, they're dead. Yeah, she's got a lot of warriors and not much else. Come on, Guitarja, you gotta be better than that. 
Let's sell this for a little bit of gold. And we might be able to buy our way out of loyalty issues here. That gives me five turns. It gave me an extra turn. Not something to scoff at. I am okay with the AI spreading their religion to me. Boy, how good would Hippolyta be if I already had her? We're gonna murder this. Send you across the river. Forward. Onto this. I will promote. And then smack. I got four turns. This will fall next turn, definitely. And then we can start turning this one up here to bottom to take it. And I am on deity, right? Yeah. I mean, it's too simple at this point. The only issue is that she's in a golden age. If she wasn't in a golden age, I wouldn't have these loyalty issues at all. Oh yeah, bro. You're not going to take these guys out. Uh, Vampire. And then Varu. I mean... There's her capital. So... Obviously... The AI... This is now positive. See? 6.1. I will kill this. Claim my merchant. Uh, I really don't want to settle these horrible silver cities. <clears throat> so we'll just send that merchant over to grab that. And... I mean, at this point... Honestly, I'm just gonna... How do the step wells work? I never build them. Uh, one food, one housing. One faith if adjacent to a holy site. One food if adjacent to a farm. So I want, like... A holy site here. Step well. Step well. Farm. Yeah. We'll put the holy site down there. Uh, not because I want to go for religion. Religions are already gone. It's just uh, faith is going to be pretty useful later whenever I can build the Grandmaster's Chapel. Let's move you there. I've got seven turns before this goes disloyal, which means it's not actually ever going to go disloyal because I'll take Badung by that point. And yeah, all will be golden. And I will have doubled the size of my empire. Don't and I think my Varu will still be useful uh, even up to this point. And I could declare war on... Ah, he's got walls. Walls do change things. Uh, walls make things a lot more difficult. I could promote... Send you up and I mean six turns, three turns. That was actually bad. That was actually a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know if I want like her whole civilization here. I could keep turn eight, but honestly, this city would be better here. It's it's not in the best location. Sailing. Ah, why am I researching sailing? Currency, because gold to purchase units to take over the world. Uh, I really should not care at all at this point about any economic desires. It's just roll cities, roll cities, roll cities, roll cities. 
I'll keep Surabaya alive up here so I don't completely wipe her out. Who's Who still needs things? Uh, who will give me gold for this? You will. Feed my war machine so that I may kill you next. Lots of really good yields on the tile up north. Or tile near uh, Benjamarson. I will pillage and attack and then attack. You've got two turns, but that should actually go back up to four. Yep. Kill. Uh, we'll come up here and just take it. Ah, darn. I could have. I almost. I got a low roll. Found this city, Agra. Agra, I think I would like you to work on a builder just to fix some of my tiles up over here. And with Badung down, Palambang will go next. And I'll probably leave Suryabaya. Or, get this, hear this, I take Suryabaya, I leave this city, and then I just let her flip. And disappear that way. Uh, what? Apologies, I'll look elsewhere. You were down here? Well, I guess Tamiris will be the next person to be the victim of my mighty wrath. I want to pillage this. I want to move up here. And then we'll just take the city this turn. Make sure Sun Tzu's on somebody useful. Keep city. Yep, you're now positive. You are negative. Uh, you're negative. Suryabaya is her next largest city. So probably moving up there would be like the most useful thing. Repair that granary. I almost have enough to buy another Varu. Uh, she doesn't have two cities close enough for me to be aggressive on. Which is not the greatest situation. Varu getting lots and lots and lots of pr promotions over here. I guess, yes, Caesar will be next. Caesar would fall... Next, his cities are still lower combat strength than my Varu currently. My vampire is getting boosted. Like, yeah, he's getting boosted. Plus five combat strength against anti-cav units. Eh. We're getting some things out of it. And, yeah, that'll be the end of this episode. Uh, we didn't spend any time building up any sort of, like, infrastructure, and instead we devoted all that time to beelining straight into Varu and military training. And within the space of less than ten turns, I would say, we took her capital, three of her cities, we're about to take another city. Two of her cities are flipping loyalty. Uh, yeah, this is strong. This is, in my opinion, the strongest early war sieve in the game. Stronger than Alex, stronger than anybody else. Chandragupta's got it. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.